Welcome. Welcome, folks. I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick demo of our recently announced Windows phone, Windows Mobile 6.5. So, we're going to show you quite a few things. Let me get a couple of things quickly set up here. Okay, here we go. So, what we have here is our brand new lock screen that's available. It gives you the ability to make sure your phone is locked and you're not inadvertently making phone calls, uh, but at the same time being able to get the information that you want right at your fingertips especially certain text and notifications. As you can see directly right on the home screen, we uh, the lock screen, we have the ability to see our date and time, as well as my next appointment that's actually happening. As you can see, I have a briefing rehearsal coming up right after this. The following the thing on top you can see is we have a blue unlock button that's available here with a number two right next to it, which gives you the ability to see uh, the type of notifications that are important to me. For example, I have one missed call as well as one text message uh, that's coming up over here. This is also similar for uh, voicemails as well as for email notifications whenever I get a brand new email. So all of that information is directly available to me right on the lock screen. Now one thing that I'm able to do here is I can actually take the actual application and unlock it directly into that particular application without going from the home screen and then doing a couple more clicks to get it. I can, all, I can do it all directly from that lock screen and unlock it true, uh, to, to that piece of information. Now, I'm going to go to our newly designed home screen. As you can see, we've added a larger font as well as a sliding scale over here that gives you the ability to move throughout all your information just by using your finger instead of a stylus. Um, I can take it and view things like, like my phone call, vo available voicemails, and even my favorites. Now what my favorites does here, it gives me the ability to take and tag actually my favorite websites that I always go to directly to my home screen. You can see we're actually using gestures to be able to go through all of the information uh, within that particular section. Uh, I can do the same thing as well for calendars as well as pictures and scroll right through all of the information uh, that I have there. So, now what I'm going to show you also is we now also introduced a new uh, start flag. Now the start flag is going to be available on all Windows phones uh, starting from now on. Gives the ability to identify what is a Windows phone. As well as when I click on it, it's going to take me to my newly designed start screen. Now as you can see, we've designed the start screen so you have enough space to actually use your finger to be able to actually scroll through it as well as pick your individual uh, components. If I want to be able to rearrange it, for example, games, and I don't want to scroll all the way down, I can hold down and it'll show move to the top so I can rearrange the way my start screen actually looks. I'm going to show you a couple of the uh, new other technologies that we've added, new features, such as my contacts. I no longer have to find my contacts based on the particular person's name. I can actually look through their pictures and say, okay, this is the person I'm actually looking for because I recognize their picture and not fully their name. And once I find the actual person I want to go into, I can click on them and it's going to go and show me all the information. For example, let's go to Kim Akers. We can find her home number there. We go to, to Allen's. And you can see all the information that's also available uh, directly to you uh, from this. So now, let me show you our newly, in, uh, newly revamped Internet Explorer. What we've actually done here is we've taken the engine from our desktop and moved it to uh, the actual mobile device. So you can see this is a full rendering of our Internet Explorer website directly on this device. It's a complete page. Obviously, I can't read this directly from here. So what I can do is quickly tap and zoom right in and use gestures to move all the way around and see the information I want. You can look at the bottom side. There's a little breadcrumb area that gives me the ability to see where I am on the page itself. I can also click on this particular button and it gives me the full, uh, the actual frame of the website, giving me the URL, as well as some information such as here are all my favorites, where I can add and delete my favorites. I can also go ahead and use our manual zoom slider where I can zoom in and out if I don't want to. Uh, actually tap on the page so I can see how much zoom I actually want on a particular page itself. Another thing I want to show you is how we've done a set of our email. 
We, you can actually set up your email for uh, some of the popular ones, such as Microsoft Exchange, which gives you full synchronized capabilities for email, as well as Hotmail, which is uh, push enabled. Uh, and we also have the ability for other of your favorite uh, email providers, Gmail, Yahoo, uh, anything that supports uh, POP3 or IMAP. You can see we've made it much larger. Also, the ability to scroll through all the email really easily uh, and be able to go inside of the email and have automatic links, such as your phone number and uh, email addresses. So I can click on them directly. It's an automatic active link uh, that, the, that the software identifies and then it gives you the instructions of what to do from there. I can swipe through my different emails, just like I'm going through a book, and then go from one email to another. You can also see I can do the same thing over here from my Outlook email. I can swipe through to my Hotmail as well as go right into my text messages from there. So, now what I'm going to show you is one of our latest announcements that we've had. It's called Microsoft My Phone. My Phone gives you the ability to back up all the important information directly onto uh, the cloud. So this is done over the air wirelessly and it backs up things like your contacts, your calendars, even your text messages, uh, which, uh, which you don't find normally, as well as your multimedia pictures, music, uh, and uh, documents that you actually have on your device. As you can see, it's a really simple interface over here. We've gone ahead, you can just use your Live ID account to sign up, and then it will. Uh, you can schedule your backups for either once a day or manually, uh, or once a week, so you can actually back up the information. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what that looks like on our on the actual my phone website. Here's a my phone website right here. You can have multiple phones set up on it, so you can easily have the same information on multiple phones. Or if I lost one phone and I get another phone, I can go ahead and restore that information directly on that phone. You can see here are my contacts. All my contacts are available on my phone by looking at the actual individual uh, icon that's available there. I can actually edit the information, not only back it up, but edit it directly onto the website. So I'm going to edit Adam Carter. I don't like this picture, so I'm going to go ahead and add you know, this particular picture on there. I can change the phone number. I can add new birthdays. All the information that's normally I can add directly on my phone. I'll click on Save. And what it's going to do, it's going to, have, uh, it's going to save it on the website, and next time I actually back my phone up, it's going to synchronize that information directly onto my phone so I have it available. So again, it's not only a backup solution, but it gives me the ability to edit directly on uh, the actual website itself. Now, I have the same thing for text messages. Now I know I have about 100 text messages that I constantly get, and a lot of them are important. People's phone numbers, addresses that I need to, there's certain things I cannot have uh, I cannot have lost. So this is a great solution for me to back it up. But because I have those 100 text messages, I'm running out of actual storage space sometimes. So instead of buying another memory card, I can actually save the information and archive it directly to the website. And you can do that very quickly and easily by clicking on the particular text message, you see the phone icon, that means it's actually on the phone. I can click archive to web, and it's gone ahead and automatically archived it to the web. Next time my phone backs up, it will no, it will no longer be on my phone, but I can actually archive it to the web. We, have, we give you about 200 megabytes of storage space on this, so you can back up uh, quite a few pieces of information on this. If I want to restore it to the phone, very simple. I can take all of these messages, restore it directly to the phone, oh, restore it to the phone, and next time my phone backs up, all these messages will be directly back onto my phone. Uh, same thing for photos, videos, uh, any of your multimedia, as well as the documents that you might have available. We've also added a new uh, deleted item section. So very familiar, just as your desktop, when you delete a piece of information from your desktop, it goes into a recycling bin. Uh, what happens here is it actually goes into a deleted items area. So if you do inadvertently delete a piece of information, you can recover it here before you actually purge your deleted items area right uh, from, from the website. So folks, that is the demonstration of our newly uh, announced Windows Phone, Windows Mobile 6.5. Come on into our booth area. We got plenty of phones for you to play with. We also have our two new uh, technologies that we've also been showcasing here. Microsoft Tag as Microsoft Recite. We also have uh, our great partners around here uh, who are showcasing their applications on Windows Mobile. Thank you very much.